friends let's talk about polynomial now what is polynomial the definition says a polynomial in one variable x is an algebraic expression of the form px equals to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus it continues a2 x square plus a1 x1 plus a0 where n is a non-negative integer a0 a1 a2 W to a n are the constants or the real numbers these real numbers are also called the coefficient and x is a variable now if we go with the definition what is polynomial polynomial is a combination of two words poly and nomials the word poly means many and nomial means terms so the polynomials means combination of many terms now let's come what is term Terms are the combination of constants and variables. For example, 2x, 4x square, 5x cube, 8y, 14t, 20t, etc. Here the constant is like this 2, 4, 5, these digits, the constants. And t, v, x cube, y, these all are the variables. So, in the given definition, here a n x to the power n, a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1, or a 2 x square, these all are individual terms and they are supported with some algebraic expression. Friends, let's talk about the degree of the polynomial. The definition says the highest power of a variable in a given polynomial is called the degree of that particular polynomial. In the polynomial px equals to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 dot dot up to a 2 x square plus a 1 x plus a 0. n is the degree. It is, this degree is also known as the exponent. So the highest power of the degree or highest power of the n will be treated as the degree of that particular polynomial. For example, in 2x plus 3, the highest power of x is 1. In 5x square minus 6 or 8x square plus 2x minus 1, the highest power of the variable x is 2. Here, 5x square minus 6, the number of terms is 2. In this case, the number of terms is 3. But the highest power of the x is 2. So, in both the cases, whether it's 5x square minus 6 or 8x square plus 2x minus 1, the degree of the polynomial is 2. Depending upon the degree of the polynomial, there are different classifications of the polynomial. Let's go by that. Linear polynomial. A polynomial of degree 1 is called linear polynomial. That means in this case, the highest power of the variable x or y, the variable highest power of the variable will be 1. For example, 2t plus 3, 7x minus 9, 10z minus 2, this all belongs to linear polynomial. The standard form of a linear polynomial is always of the form ax plus b, where a cannot be equals to 0. Quadratic polynomial. The polynomial in which the highest power of the variable is 2 is called quadratic polynomial. For example, 5x square plus 4x minus 3, x square plus x plus 4, x square minus 4, this all belong to quadratic polynomial. It is of the form ax square plus bx plus c and a can never be equals to 0. Cubic polynomial. The polynomial in which the highest power of the variable is 3 is called cubic polynomial. For example, x cube plus 8x square plus 5x minus 4, x cube minus x plus 1, x cube minus 30, this all belong to cubic polynomial. It is of the form x cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, where a cannot be equals to 0. Now let's go by the value of the polynomials. What is value of the polynomial? Let's try to understand the definition. If Px is a polynomial in x and A is any real number, 
then the value obtained by putting a in the place of x is called value of dx at x equal to a. That means here, as you know, this x is a variable. In the place of x, if we put any real number, maybe a or b or any 1, 2, 3, whatever, the value that we get by putting any constant or any real number in the place of that variable x, it is called the value of the polynomial for that particular real number. For example, px equals to 2x plus 1. The value of px at x equals to 2 is 5. How it comes to 5? It shows this. It is written as p of 2. px at x equals to 2 means it is also written as p of 2. In the place of x, we are putting the value of 2. We are putting 2 into 2, 4 plus 1, 5. Like this, px square equals to x square minus x plus 1. The value of px at x equals to 1 is 1. Putting the value of x as 1, we are getting 1 square minus 1 plus 1. So ultimately, we are getting 1. Now let's go by the 0 of a polynomial. The value of the variable for which the value of a polynomial becomes 0 is called that value is called the zero of that particular polynomial for example zero of px equals to 2x plus 1 is minus 1 by 2 that means what when the value of x is minus 1 by 2 the polynomial 2x plus 1 becomes zero that's why minus 1 by 2 is called zero of the polynomial px to get 0 of a polynomial, what do we need to do? We need to put that polynomial equals to 0. We need to equate that particular equation with 0 and then we need to solve. Then only we will get the 0 of a, any given particular polynomial. Let's go by some example. Find the 0 of px equals to 3x plus 9. What do we need to do? Let put px equals to 0 and that means 3x plus 9 equals to 0. So 3x equals to minus 9 and x equals to minus 9 by 3, which is equals to minus 3. And you check it. If we put minus 3 in the place of x, what sort of question it may come across? Like, uh, let's go by this one. Find the value of k if 2 is a 0 of a polynomial x square minus x plus k. That means here 2 is the 0 of the polynomial. So if we put 2 in the place of x in this given polynomial, it will become 0. And but the value of k is unknown to us. So they are asking the value of k. As I said, since 2 is the 0 of the polynomial, we can write p of 2 is 0. So putting 2 in the place of x, we are getting 2 square minus 2 plus k equals to 0. Or 4 minus 2 plus k equals to 0 or minus 2 plus k equals to 0 or minus 2 equals to minus k or k equals to 2. So for the value of k equals to 2, 2 is a 0 of a polynomial. Let's go by some more example. So what the question says, if the zeros of a polynomial x square plus a plus 1 whole into x plus b are 2 and minus 3. Find the value of a plus b. It is given 2 and minus 3 at the 0 of a polynomial. That means in the place of x, if we put 2 or minus 3, we will get the value of the polynomial to be 0. But a and b are unknown to us. So let's go for solving it. Since 2 and minus 3 are the zeros of the polynomial, we can write p of 2 equals to 0 and p of mi minus 3 equals to 0. What is p of 2? That is we put 2 in the place of x. So by this we are getting 2a plus b equals to minus 6. Let this be a first equation. So likewise, we will put p equals to in the place of x we will put minus 3. And let's see if we get another equation. Yeah, we are getting 3a minus b equals to 6. So we got two equations. 
the equation 1 2a plus b equals to minus 6 equation 2 3a minus b equals to 6 so equation 1 plus equation 2 we are getting 5a equals to 0 or ultimately a equals to 0 if a equals to 0 we can put the value of a in any or one of the equation either 1 or 2 so putting the value of a in 1 we are getting b equals to 6 so thus a plus b is 0 plus 6 is 6 6 is the answer